Okay, so moving from growing to juicing, uh, Michael, the first question obviously is how do I get started juicing? Right. So now that you have the grass, we right. taught you how to grow it. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, you harvest it, got it in the refrigerator, so get started juicing it. Um, with juicers, now there's so many different varieties of juicers these days. Uh, and there's uh, the blender question versus the juicers. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes on and on. Um, the most important thing when juicing sprouts, juicing wheatgrass, is to have a masticating juicer. Mm -hmm. The masticating is that slow turning juicer. It's the chewing process. Mm -hmm. So we have single auger juicers, there's twin auger juicers, uh, there's vertical juicers now. I don't know why they did that, <laughs> why try to reinvent the wheel. Um, it's already done, it's already done right. And the ones that I think you guys have at Got Sprouts now are the two that I would recommend to anybody. Uh, the hand juicer, okay, and I think that's the best way to go because it's the cheapest. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people are into that part now is look I gotta save money in this economy I can't afford to do it so here's a juicer now for $45 $50 they can get started juicing um, and it's great for traveling uh, it's great if the power goes out mm -hmm. there's a hundred reasons to have a little hand juicer um, the other juicer that you guys have the electric it would be the Omega mm -hmm. the 8005 the 8006 I like both of those mm -hmm. pretty similar uh, juicers they're, they're easy to, they're easy to clean that's the most important thing and they do a great job juicing easy to clean easy to use and they do the that masticating they do that chewing right. part so they don't go too fast mm -hmm. you know because you got to look at the other juicers you got to look right. at the Breville uh, the champion mm -hmm. uh, all those machines the Jack Belaine Jay the right. juice man those are all those centrifugal cutters and they're right. going too fast they're not going to do the same job um, and I, I, I say I, they're more like for fruit, right? Yeah, I mean, you could use them for, obviously, you can use them for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use them for the harder, the root vegetables, mm -hmm. the beets, the carrots, those kind of things. But they're also a little high in sugar, though. Yeah. <laughs> so we really want to stick with greens when, when we're talking about juicing. And that's where the single augers are best. Now, the twin auger juicers, um, I've known a lot of people that come up to me at health shows and they talk to me about their juicers that they own. Uh, the twin augers work, but they are a little bit more effort to clean. It mm -hmm. has, a lot, has right. a lot more moving parts in them. Um, they, I think the twin agar juicers are wonderful if you're a raw food chef. Mm -hmm. If you enjoy preparing and making raw food in your home, the twin agar juicer is a great choice. It's twice as much money mm -hmm. as compared to the single agar juicers that we already talked about. And right. I like those, I like those right. two, the healthy juicer for the hand machine and the Omega for the electric. And the wheatgrass too, I found it, it frosts the wheatgrass more. You get more oxygen in the, the wheatgrass. Foam yeah, the foam with the twin yeah. gear. And mm -hmm. what's happening is the twin gear will take the wheatgrass, the blade of the grass, mm -hmm. and it will cut it into little pieces first. So actually it allows for more oxidation. That's why you get the foam with the twin gear juicers. Right. Right. You know, they always try to tell you different ways you can, you know. <laughs> Drop some oil in there, yeah. try this, try that. And it's like, why are you trying to? Why you are you know? trying to do yeah. that? Um, Champion just came out with an attachment f uh, that does wheatgrass. But the problem is they didn't gear down the machine, so it still goes too fast. So yes. the Champion attachment for wheatgrass, it does it, it was a failure. I've watched it. Mm. Unfortunately, and I like the Champion juicer, but unfortunately the attachment for wheatgrass didn't work. Mm. And what about the high end? I know you can go crazy with these juicers, and I have people call me about Norwalks and, and other, other brands that are great brands. Yep. But you're talking about a pretty costly item there, aren't I you? I tell you, you know, the Norwalk, um, probably one of the best machines out there. The, the difference between the Norwalk and all your other machines mm -hmm. is that pressing component, right. the hydraulic right. press. Um, and I can tell you right now, whatever juicer that you use, you can turn it into a Norwalk juicer. So mm -hmm. Norwalk, you're talking about $3,000 machine. Right. But if you have the Champion, the Jack Lane, if you have the Omegas, whatever juicer you own, all you have to do is have a little seed bag, the nylon mesh bag, mm -hmm. and put the fibers after you make a juice Put the fibers into that nylon mesh bag mm -hmm. and just wring it like a wet rag and you'll get 20% more juice wow. with your fibers wow. no matter what juicer you use. You're turning your juicer into a Norwalk, you're hydraulic pressing it. Right. And that's also a nylon seed bag cost right. eight to 10 bucks. Right. And there you go. Except the Lexan Healthy Juicer, the hand crank juicer, that one is so dry. Oh, I don't you're not going to get anything, anything about it. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, that, that was a great surprisingly, really that does. hand juicer does a great job. Yeah. And there's a lot of hand juicers. Yeah. And people ask about sure. stainless steel hand yeah. juicers, but nothing will beat that little. Yeah. Um, and it's a polycarbonate. You know, they're working on uh, yeah. making it more advanced these days, yeah. but it is a top quality machine. Mm -hmm. Looks like a toy, but it works like yeah. a champ. And it's great for traveling, too. Great for traveling. Mm -hmm.